Deaf Entertainment, ftdmusic.com. I'm here with the band Contact, live at the Fire tonight. Long as. So guys, welcome to Philly. Have you guys had a chance to check out any like hot places in Philly yet? I don't know how hot they were, but we went to a Mexican restaurant down the street. It was kind of yeah, it was kind of hot. Good. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So welcome. So, what is your take on the Philly music scene? To be honest, we haven't played Philly yet as content, and I don't know much about the Philly scene right now. In the past, it's been a lot of awesome indie bands. Um, growing up, there was a lot of cool bands I can remember from the Philly area. Yeah, I don't know much about it right now. We're playing with the band tonight, June Divided, and I know they're killing it in this area right now. I don't know if you guys know much about that. Awesome. Yeah. How is your guys' new music coming along? Excellent, to awesome. be quite honest. Yeah. We have had years of a growing pain in this band of trying to figure out our sound, different singers, different members. And in the past year, we really locked it down. We're stoked on our sound. It's like post-punk new wave, and we are just writing like machines right now. We have enough for a full length, uh, we have enough for an EP obviously too, um, just depends on the next move. We, we have a single that we're finishing right now that's going to come out um, early summer, late late spring. Um, we'll see, we'll see what the cars line up for us. Yeah. Any, any word on a release date? No, not even no. close. <laughs> not even oh remote. my god, yeah, no. it's like Lots so much stuff for it, but <laughs> yeah. Business stuff, writing stuff, and like yeah, all those things come into play and kind of hold you back, but we'll see. We're definitely releasing tunes soon. Okay, awesome. Well, we're looking forward to that. <laughs> Will Doghouse Records be helping you guys release this album? We don't know yet. Um, we're still on great terms with them. We love them. We're debating if we're going to put this record out with them or not. Um, we might self-release some stuff. We might look for a different label. We might work with them. I'm not sure. It's like, yeah, it's up in the air. So much is up in the air. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Living on the edge. Yeah. So recently, you guys have undergone some transitions. So how did this current lineup come to fruition? It's crazy. It's a super organic uh, lineup right now. Austin joined the band when we um, had lost a different drummer. John has been in and out of the band for years while we're in this transition Four period. Four and a half, five years now. Forever. And so it just kind of happened organically. We were like, oh, we're all still in it. We're all still writing. We all like each other. So here we are. We're now a band, I guess. Yeah. By default. Awesome. Yeah. By default. Yeah. We're stuck with this. <laughs> How was um, playing South by Southwest? It's dope. It's That's awesome. amazing. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That, that will be like the cornerstone of the kickstart of um, this new era of contact because it's like we've been working so hard in the studio, we made all these new friends, we worked with this plugging company that kind of like got us down there and like filmed us on our way down and out the show, we worked with Berkeley when we were there and like it all settled in, we're like this is the lineup, this is like all because of this event, it all kind of like came down. Together. Not to mention with the new lineup, it was our first real outing, really, like our first full like we're going somewhere. Yeah. It, was an, it was an adventure, to say the least. Yeah, it's awesome. That's great. What, what, so what were your favorite tracks to play live in front of an audience? All the new stuff, obviously. I'm yeah. sure every band says that. But we have like um, all these new tracks that are like a little bit of a departure from where we were uh, last year. And if you guys check it out live tonight, you'll see like the energy. We, we can't hide it, but like, I don't know, we can't hide it on our faces. We play the new songs and we freak out. So it's, yeah, it's awesome. That's incredible. Yeah. So, what's next for Contact? What's next for Contact? Well, it's, like we, it's kind of like we just found out who we were. Who we are, rather. And, uh, <laughs> so now it's kind of just running with that and kind of having fun with it. So we're playing tons of shows. Um, no filter anymore. We used to like, be like, we're only playing big shows, we're only doing tours. Uh, we're just playing everything and just playing, like, kind of taking it back to the roots. Like, we're kind of like dumb little punks again. Like, just playing any show we can get. Just like getting involved in the scene again. It feels like really fresh and fun. It's cool. There's no agenda anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's what's next. No agenda. <laughs> Who would you say some of your influences are? All I listen to is The Cure. That's it. It's not The Cure. I don't listen to it. I don't like it. So that's the Smiths. And The Smiths. <laughs> <laughs> that's basically The Cure too. So that's my influence. Um, they can speak for themselves. Uh, uh, Bayside. I've been heavily listening to Bayside lately. Love their new album or latest album. Um, that's all I've been really jamming super hard lately. So I'll yeah. pass it off. I would say The Cure and I'm not sure. I listen to a lot of like, old school stuff as well, so I like to mix it up. Austin loves like um, 
<laughs> Blink-182, <182, Yeah>. Paramore, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Everything you could Good ever Charlotte. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> this is okay. <laughs> well guys, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. We look forward to hearing tons of great news I, from you. I need to cut you off and I have something to say. Yeah. Mike, thank you so much. You talk about someone who I've known, and this is our first time meeting, I need to buy you a beer. But, um, he has been involved and like hooked us up and promoted us for uh, as long as I've been doing music. Honestly, at this point, there's an interview on his site for me back in the metal days, and like that is so cool to me. Like to have like a friend that's like an ally in the music industry still like for that long. It's so much. Like, this is like such a cool moment for me to meet you guys. Honestly, it's freaking awesome. I can't thank you enough. Yeah, no so thank you so much. <laughs> Yay! Thank you so much, thank guys. You. Thank you for being here. Yeah, it's like. <laughs>